These pictures are from a time when workshop and the country went through massive change. From the depression of the 30s to World War II and on to the 50s, a period of reconstruction after the war and the clearance of old Victorian housing. We start in Nougat Street in 1932. The two buildings in the centre on Park Street are still there. Everything else has gone. The right hand side is now the health centre. Further down Nougat Street and it's 1950. The Reindeer Inn on the left and the building opposite with the bay window is Downing's famous fish and chip shop. Turn the camera around and you're looking towards Lowtown Street. In 1958, when this picture was taken, most of the north side of the street was demolished. Carlton Road taken from the footbridge over the level crossing in 1938. Apart from the tyre shop on the corner of Clarence Road being under construction, it's little changed from today. The other end of Carlton Road in 1940 and a very rural view of its junction with the Bourke. Kilton Road in the 30s. Rows of houses for the influx of workers, all planned before the arrival of mass motoring. At the top of Kilton Hill in 1940, the infirmary, with all its grounds being used to grow veg in the Dig for Victory campaign. Gateford Road in 1935 and a well-known workshop family business throughout this period, with shops all over North Worksop. Twenty years later and a view from the bottom of Gateford Road into Victoria Square, with the Prince of Wales building in the centre. On into Bridge Street in 1930, with the arcade taking pride of place. Note all the shop blinds, which we don't see today, all protecting stock from the morning sun. In the afternoon, the opposite side's blinds will come down. 1932 and a scene we're familiar with today. This picture is rare in that it shows the door to the central hall on Bridge Street. The year is now 1935 and on the left you can just see the scaffolding which is being used to alter the facade of what would become Burton's Corner. The arcade shelter has already gone. 1937 and we see the result of the change with the white section. And now only eight finials instead of the previous ten. To the top of town in the 50s and a shot of forests with the famous kettle. A few doors from forests is Ayres, one of Worksop's oldest retailers, on the same site for 110 years. This picture shows it all decorated for the visit of the Queen in 1950. Down Potter Street to the bottom and at the start of Cheapside in the mid 50s was Dakin's Drug and Herbal Stores, about to be demolished. A little further down Cheapside, Geoffrey Allison was just setting up his cycle business and he bought all the counters from Dakin's and 65 years later they can still be seen in use. Carry on down Cheapside onto Retford Road and as you exit Worksop, one of the last properties you would see would be Manton Farm. If you enjoyed the video hit the like button, I really do appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed then now's a great time to do it and don't forget to hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss a thing.